Plot the images of points D, E, and F after dilation centered the origin with a scale factor of 1 half. So we're going to center around the origin. We want to scale this thing down by 1 half. So one way to think about it is the points that will correspond to points D, E, and F are going to be half as far away from the origin, because our scale factor is 1 half, in either direction. So for example, let's, let's think about point D first. Point D is at negative 8. So if we scale, if we have a scale factor of 1 half, what point D will map to is going to be at negative 4 on the x direction. And on the y direction, D is at negative 9. So this is going to be at negative 4.5, half of that. So that is going to be right over there. That's where point D is going to be, or the image of point D after the scaling. Now let's think about point E. E is two more than the origin in the x direction, so it's only going to be one more once we scale it by half. And it's seven more in the y direction, so it's going to be at three and a half. Seven times one half is three and a half, so we're going to stick it right over there. And then finally, F, it's six. Its x coordinate is six more than the origin, and its y coordinate is six less. So its image after scaling is going to be three more in the x direction and three less in the y direction. So it's going to be right over there. So we've plotted the images of the points. So if you were to connect these points, you would essentially have dilated down DEF with the center at with with and your center of dilation would be the origin. So let's just write these coordinates. Point D, and point D, remember, was the point negative eight, negative nine. That's going to map to, well, we're going to take half of each of those. So negative 4 and negative 4.5. Point E maps to, well, E was at, at 2, 7. So it maps to 1, 3.5, 3.5. And then finally, point F was at 6, negative 6. So it maps to 3, it maps to 3, negative 3. So the important thing to recognize is the center of our dilation was the origin. So in each dimension, in the x direction or in the y direction, we just halved the distance from the origin because the scale factor was 1 half. We got it right.